This question appeared in the 2014-15 exam. It was a multiple choice question, question six. And in it, we're given the spectrum of a continuous time signal, X of T, and we're asked to find the energy. And the energy is, it looks like it comes from the time domain expression, and what we have is the frequency domain expression. So rather than trying to find the inverse Fourier transform of this and then carrying out the integration, it's much easier to use Parseval's theorem. So remember, Parseval's theorem relates the, uh, or says the energy is the same in the frequency or time domains. So we could simply say that the energy that we're being asked to find is equal to 1 over 2 pi the integral of x of omega squared, the omega. And that is that. So what we need to do is carrying out the integral from the spectrum that's given. So we would need to find x of omega for each of these four segments, one, two, three, four. So in this case, it's linear and it's straightforward. So each of these is uh, the equation of a straight line. So this here is a straight line with a gradient of two. So it's two omega and a y-intercept of four. This one here has a gradient of minus 2. This one here has a gradient of 2. And this one here has a gradient of minus 2. But it also has a y-intercept of 4. So now we know the expression for x of omega. 1, 2, 3, 4. We just need to put that instead of x of omega. And then square it. So, I'll need a little bit of space, but it boils down to something like this. The integral from minus 2 to minus 1 of 2 omega plus 4 squared d omega. Then the integral from minus 1 to 0. So that's from here to here of minus 2 omega squared d omega plus the integral from 0 to 1 that's from here to here of 2 omega squared d omega and finally the integral from minus 1 to, or it's from 1 to 2 of minus 2 omega plus 4. Okay, so this is a straightforward integration because you have omega d omega and then you just substitute the limits, add them all up, divide by um, 2 pi, and eventually the answer is 8 over 3 pi. So that's your final answer. That's how to find the energy from a spectral plot.